Hey there, this is Max with Apri.io. I'm excited to show you how to take a server-side script and show you how to test the script in Apri.io. Now, in case you didn't know, Apri.io server code script allows you to write any custom app logic using JavaScript on the server. So you're basically uh, getting server-side JavaScript uh, benefits and capabilities. And to start, I'm actually gonna use an existing script that I wrote and I'm gonna use the Uber API. So this is a folder, so you can create folders and arrange scripts into folders uh, to make it simpler to organize your stuff. Let's open and let's open this, all right? So here's a script. Now, what the script does is that it uh, requires input, uh, latitude and longitude information, and then returns the available Uber products in that specific location, all right? Um, and this is where we send uh, the request to uh, to Uber. So, you know, before using this in your app, right, uh, you want to test to make sure it works here. And that's very simple to do. Uh, you, you just switch to run and just click save and run. And right away we get the information from Uber. So, for example, we get, uh, there is the uh, Uber X, right, Uber X right here. And um, let's scroll a little bit down. Uber select and so on. So just whatever products are available. Now, um, the script uh, requires two parameters, latitude and longitude, and you can, of course, create any number of parameters. So to define those parameters for testing, just switch to script parameters. And you can see this is where we define the parameters, and you also enter sample data, just as simple as that, right? You can enter any sample data here. Um, also, you can decide whether you want to do a post or get, right? Uh, we did a post, but we can also do a get, right? And then again, all right? Now, you know, obviously as you're developing, you're gonna make uh, some mistakes, some, you know, some errors, you have to debug the script, uh, but that's also very simple. So just an example, let's say that we, you know, enter the incorrect, um, you know, API key here or the token for Uber. So I'm just gonna add a one at the end, right? Then we. Right? And then what happens, you still get a response from Uber, but then you can see that it says no authentication provided. It just means that the API key uh, or the token is incorrect here, right? So that's how you can kind of, oh, I need to fix this, the token here, right? Um, let's say, for example, that, uh, you know, we don't specify, you know, we don't pass in the right, the right parameter and maybe just something like this and then save and run, all right? And you can see right here that we get, um, right, the latitude is missing, right? So you kind of know you can fix that. Uh, what else you can do is you can also um, add some debug information if you need to, and that's using the console API. So for example, and what's nice is that if you put a period and press control space bar, you actually get code assist, and you can see that, right? So let's say you wanna, uh, print the entire response, right? So something like this. Now, where are you gonna see this? is actually right here. This is what we call the trace information, right? So this response is what the uh, script returns, right? Uh, and this is, of course, uh, just for debugging useful. The trace info is right here, right? Now, you can also view the trace info here as well. It shows you at the top the last, uh, the last response here. Right, so again, um, definitely use this uh, built-in testing capability. Again, make sure the uh, script works. You can enter uh, sample data uh, and so on. And just kind of make sure the script works right before you use it in the app, all right? And again, just remember the script, the logic that you write here is automatically exposed as a REST API, which you then invoke from the app. And then this API is uh, the REST API is right here, right? And from the app builder, and I'm actually gonna do a separate video on that, uh, you can then automatically generate a service to invoke this server code script, right? So um, I hope this was helpful, um, and thank you for watching.